This is a severe weather briefing from the National Weather Service in La Crosse, recorded on Friday morning, June 27th, for this upcoming weekend, June 28th and 29th. We're expecting two rounds of potential severe weather, the first one coming on Saturday, possibly late in the afternoon, uh, but more so likely in the nighttime hours, and then another round on Sunday as well. The main hazards we're expecting are damaging winds, large hail, and heavy rainfall. Um, but for the storms on Sunday evening and overnight, there is a potential there for a tornado or two to develop. The highest chances for severe weather look like they're going to be in Minnesota and Iowa, but also into western Wisconsin. Here's the main areas that are outlooked for severe weather. The orangish area is the main area of concern for Saturday, Saturday night. Uh, you can see there it's mainly in the, the eastern part of uh, Minnesota and uh, most of Iowa and the western part of Wisconsin. And then going into Sunday, it's pretty much all of the area, uh, again, for mainly on Sunday night in our local uh, area, but further to the west might be a little bit more in the afternoon hours. Here's a look at the, the forecast map uh, for 1 p.m. today showing a warm front just to our southwest. And we're expecting to see some showers and thunderstorms today, but nothing that's really going to be severe. Maybe some localized heavy rainfall that could lead to some uh, some really local flooding, but um, organized severe weather is not really expected for today. But this uh, warm front will stall out uh, through tonight. Uh, we'll still see these chances for showers and thunderstorms uh, through tonight. But as that warm front starts lifting back to the north uh, into uh, this weekend, we'll be in a little bit more of a, uh, a hotter and more unstable air mass that as uh, this first cold front comes through on Saturday, we'll have a chance of seeing these showers and thunderstorms develop out ahead of it, uh, potentially severe there Saturday uh, in the late afternoon and into the overnight hours as that first cold front comes through. For Sunday, it reorganizes and we get this next trough that's coming through, which will be the, the next focus uh, as uh, that feature comes in on Sunday. Rainfall amounts, again for today, uh, nothing that's expected to be too heavy. Could be locally higher, but less than an inch in general falling. Uh, the heavier rainfalls come on Saturday, another inch possibly there, maybe some locally higher stuff as well. And then on Sunday, another round of uh, showers and thunderstorms where we could see some higher amounts there. Uh, but in total, over the next uh, four or five days or so, uh, particularly into Monday, after Monday, it really doesn't look like there's a whole lot of chances for rain. But uh, the next uh, five days here, here's the rainfall totals based on uh, the Weather Prediction Center's forecast of another inch or two of rainfall, which could lead to some additional river rises. Uh, a lot of the rivers are still high from the high rainfall that we had the other week. And uh, we could see some additional flooding here. So again, the uh, the main impacts, the main severe weather that we're expecting are the wind, the hail, and the locally heavy rain that could lead to that flash flooding. Can't rule out the chances for a tornado, especially on Sunday night. And uh, with these two systems, we could see some widespread wind damage uh, both nights, so some power outages, things like that. Some of the details, uh, we're mainly looking at these storms coming through in the evening, in overnight hours, but uh, there is some chance chances that uh, they could the timing of this could change over the next uh, day or so. So pay attention to the latest forecasts, um, especially if they develop earlier on on Saturday there. And if uh, you're a storm spotter, we will will possibly need you, uh, especially if the storms are a little bit earlier in the day.